You have to break the cycle. Break that cycle of that on again, off again phase. It's only on and off because you guys are not learning the lesson. You'll break up and talk to other people. You'll go out drinking and partying instead of healing. You aren't fixing the root issue. And when you guys do get back together, you just have makeup sex. You brush it up under the rug. And those unresolved issues come back. Hey, you guys. It's Seiko Kaori, the Manifesting Goddess. And welcome back to another episode of Seiko's Intuition. Now, today's video is going to be more like a message. And that message is you have to stop taking them back. All you are doing is giving them another cheat sheet on how to get back in good graces with you the next time they fuck up. Because trust me, there is going to be a next time. You are showing them that they matter more than your feelings. You are showing them that you have no self-love or boundaries. Respect is not earned it is not given respect is shown you show people how to treat you if you respect yourself other people are going to respect you if you have boundaries other people cannot cross those boundaries without your permission stop settling for someone you know won't add to your happiness you have to heal your abandonment issues you have to heal your attachment issues and your I don't want to be alone syndrome. The breakup happened because it was not serving you. Stop denying yourself the mental happiness and peace that you deserve. You cannot control anybody. You cannot change anybody. You have to heal that part of you that feels like you need them you have to heal that part of you that feels like they matter more than your peace that they matter more than your happiness and your sanity you know things don't happen overnight so if someone comes to you and says they're different they've learned their lesson or that they won't hurt you anymore it's usually a manipulation tactic to get you back just ask yourself, why didn't these changes come about when you guys were together? Why are these changes happening once you guys are separated? Because I'm pretty sure you were very vocal about your wants and your needs. So don't let them manipulate you by lying and said that they changed. Someone should want to change for themselves, not for a relationship. Because if they are changing for a relationship, that means that change is only conditioned based off if that relationship works. You gotta find somebody that wants to change for them because they know that if they change, their circumstances and their relationships and their friendship will automatically change with that. You have to break the cycle. Break that cycle of that on again, off again phase. It's only on and off because you guys are not learning the lesson. You'll break up and talk to other people. You'll go out drinking and partying instead of healing. You aren't fixing the root issue. And when you guys do get back together, you just have makeup sex. You brush it up under the rug. And those unresolved issues come back. It is just emotionally draining trying to fix someone, trying to change someone or control their actions. And if you take them back, most likely you do not trust them. So yes, you are going to be trying to change them. You're going to be trying to control their actions to make sure they don't hurt you the way they did the last time. That is you putting an emotional effort to make things work and they aren't changing. Now you're ignoring your mental health. You have to stop trying to take on other people's personal issues because you end up neglecting yourself. 
You cannot raise nobody. You cannot heal anybody. You cannot control them and you cannot fix them. And yes, for example, there are people who get back together and it works. A prime example is Nelly and Ashanti. As of right now, as of right now, that is working for them. Now, will it work in the future? I am not sure. Nelly has already had kids, so he's kind of lived his life. He's in that moment of, yes, wanting to settle down, but also wanting to have fun. Ashanti has not been married, ever. Ashanti has not pushed out a baby. So, depending on if Ashanti wants kids, because she is in her 40s, you know, that's her business, but if she wants kids, Nelly may not want that. He may not want to start over. He may not want to be a new dad again. So yeah, everything is going well now. You know, they had their time apart. They were able to miss each other. She did her healing. He did whatever he needed to do. But as of right now, yes, it is working. But you have to know yourself. Ashanti wasn't just going back to Nelly. He didn't cheat on her. She kept going back. He didn't cheat on her. She kept embarrassing herself. She found her worth and loved herself. No, she shouldn't have built herself up to go back to somebody who tore her down. But if you have a soulmate, if you have a divine partner, and you have somebody that you just feel is your person, take that chance. But honey, if it does not work the second time, Fuck the third, fuck the fourth, fuck the fifth. If it does not work the second time, let it go. Stop going back to what does not make you happy. Stop going back to things that do not serve you. Stop going back to people who do not love you or value you. Just because somebody keeps you around does not mean they really fuck with you like that. But I am Seiko Kaori, the Manifesting Goddess. And if you resonate with what I say, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye.